Esava, this is Geo Blazable coming at you with another video, and today I want to talk to you guys about the distant star and what are exactly the god rules you're going to be looking forward to to picking up this weapon. We're going to break it apart in PvP perks and PvE perks, and which ones, which perks are the ones you're going to want to look for, and what I highly recommend you guys to definitely go ahead and you know definitely look for so i went ahead and added the image without any perks so you guys can get an idea we'll go ahead and be adding the perks individually as we go so you guys can know exactly what build and what exactly you're looking forward to when picking up this weapon now the vendor weapon's actually pretty interesting but i'll get that uh we'll, we'll break that into a little bit further along the video but right now let's go ahead and start off with the bat and what the distance star what is it so you know what type of weapon is it so the distance star falls under the archetype of the mida multi-tool if you're familiar with the mighty multi-tool which i hope a lot of you are because it's one of the best weapons currently in destiny it is a amazing weapon with a nice magazine size of 21 good fire rate good mobility with the weapon and a very deadly weapon in the crucible still effective in pvp and also in PvE. Now this gun falls under that type of archetype. There's only two different guns currently in that archetype from the time the, before the release of the new DLC. Uh, we didn't have any weapon or legendary weapon we could actually pick up that was similar or had the same archetype as the Mighty Multi-Tool. Luckily, with after the DLC, we've gotten an option to actually pick up two weapons that are primarily very similar to the Mighty Multi-Tool. The one that you're able to pick up from the Vanguard and the Distant Star that you're able to earn from Iron Man. So what are the advantages you get from getting this type of archetype of a weapon? Well, the advantages you have you get from this type of weapon is you get really good high melee assist and you also get a good set of magazine size and stability. But that is where we're going to be breaking down the Distant Star and how is this weapon effective and how is it compared to the Mighty Multi-Tool, which is kind of like the go-to standard for scout rifles. So the pros of this weapon is it comes with very good reload uh, speed, so it reloads really fast, and it comes out with a good high aim assist. Really at the base stat, you actually get a very decent uh, high aim assist. Now, there's a couple of cons with this weapon. You get a low, it, it doesn't have that much range, so you won't be able to go ahead and hit that max range. It still has a little bit more range than the uh, Mighty Multi-Tool, but you know it's not like, oh my goodness, this has such a range. And another downside of this weapon is the low uh, ability of magazine size. The reason why I wanted to list these before we got into the perks is so, so you guys could get an idea of what type of perks we're going to be looking forward to now that we have the base of what type of weapon this is. Now the time to kill for this weapon is 0.9. That's three critical shots and one body shot. So critical shots being headshots. You land three shots in the head and one body shot. The time to kill is 0.9 seconds. And if you actually just hit a pure body shots is 1.5 seconds so that is the time to kill as far as concerned the base set on the rate of fire is 52 the impact is 37 the range is 59 which is the same stability the same amount of range you're able to get with the minor multi-tool stability rocks at 40 reload speed is at 76 which is one of the bonuses you're able to get this weapon and the magazine size is at 14. the aim assist is at 70 and but even with the ability to actually increase that to a little bit further than 70 with a right perk roll so let's go ahead and start talking a little bit about the perks and what you guys are going to want to get now that we already knocked out the pros the cons and the specs on this weapon so the recommended perks on this particular weapon for pvp so let's go ahead and start off with column number one which is the site so you're going to want to go ahead and there's not really much wiggle room in the sense of which one's better which is uh, worse as far as for my personal preference we have a set of three we have iron range scope we have iron warrior site and iron red thought red thought now from all these three there's a you know there's pros and cons right so for the iron range scope you're going to have a higher it's going to give you a little bit more aim assist but unfortunately, the scope is not so much effective with the type of maps that we play in Destiny. We don't have that many long range maps. So the Iron Range scope actually has a big zoom and it kind of avoids, you know, messes up with your peripherals, uh, you know, if you, you know, for your BC Adam, especially if you guys are at close quarters. The Iron Red Thought actually gives you a less zoom, but it's pretty effective with a wider view. And the Iron Warrior Sight also gives you a uh, smaller zoom and it's kind of very easy to manage. Uh, within the two if i had to pick between all three of them definitely would go with the red dot that is my personal favorite but if you pick up the warrior it still would be the best uh you know the best one to pick 
Now this weapon lacks in uh, one of the cons of this weapon is you know it's of stability. So what you're going to want to be looking for the you know for the column number 2 is definitely a you know a perk that gives you a good stability perk. That's what you're going to want to go ahead and get. You're able to roll a couple a couple you know couple perks that give you that stability. Of course your favorite one would probably be perfect balance which gives you automatic stability. But you won't go wrong with anything like small bore or brace frame. Now keep in mind, stability should you be your number one concern when it comes to this weapon, because you're gonna want to make sure the weapon is stable to consist, you know, to keep make sure you're keeping that nice rate of fire and accuracy when you're shooting. Now the two I would pick for this type of perk, it would either be perfect balance, which would give you that nice stability, or small bore, which are the go-to. I mean, brace frame's not that bad, but definitely my high two. That I would go with is perfect balance as moral board, but to make it a tier one weapon, it would be best for you guys to go with perfect balance. At column number two, three, we have a couple ones we could pick. We could land. We could add high caliber rounds and full auto. So those are the on column number two, the ones you guys are going to be in kind of shooting for. I personally prefer high caliber rounds. This is going to be better. Be, it, for me, it's personally better than full auto. Full auto, don't get me wrong, it's a very amazing, very good perk because it allows you to shoot the weapon rapidly. The only reason I don't like full auto in this weapon is because the magazine size on this weapon is very, very small. You're going to be finding yourself reloading a lot constantly in full auto, maybe losing a couple fights just because you're, you're going to be running out of the magazine that quickly. That's why high caliber rounds would work more beneficial because it's going to allow you to actually stagger the enemy or stagger the person you're firing, which gives you the ability to minimize the amount of bullets you're going to be shooting and also take cover if you're getting shot back. So definitely high caliber would be my number, you know, for column number three, the go-to perk to make this a god roll. So first off, we have the sights. We have perfect balance for column number two. Column number three, we have high caliber rounds. And column number four, this is where things get a little bit, you know, sketchy because a lot of people have different preferences. Uh, column number four, we are able to go ahead and roll with, uh, you know, hit in hand or send moment. My personal favorite on column number four to make this a god roll weapon for me would have to be hit in hand just because it gives you that additional four plus for the aim assist. So you're going to be rocking like around 74 aim assist, which I do prefer any sort of scout rifle to have aim assist just because it makes it that much effective when uh you know when you're actually targeting or when you're actually magnetizing to that target definitely aim assist would be my preferred value here so once again guys to read it for pvp the god will be perfect balance high caliber rounds and hit in hand now if you guys are rocking uh, looking for a pvp pve god roll because you know this weapon could roll with a nice set of differences the only thing you're going to be looking forward to uh, that's different from the ones I recommended would be column number four. You're going to want to roll with Firefly or Triple Tap. My personal favorite is Firefly. The reason I like Firefly more than Triple Tap is because you're going to be, when you're playing uh, PvE, there's multiple enemies that are always kind of, you know, sur or surrounding the person, the, you know, where you're shooting from. Uh, you know, very little times are you able to just take out one enemy. Firefly gives you that ability to get multiple kills with one kill. So definitely Firefly would be effective in this weapon, making it kind of similar to the Vision of Conflicts. Not quite, but very similar in the sense of you having that Firefly perk. Even though, don't get me wrong, Triple Tap is still a very decent perk to actually have. If I were to roll, you know, I were to get everything with Triple Tap, I'll still be happy with the weapon. But my personal favorite would have to be Firefly, and that would make it a God Roll PvE perk. Uh, once again, let's go ahead and knock these out. For PvE, you want perfect balance, high caliber rounds, and a Firefly. Even though for PvE, you know, PvE, you still would, you wouldn't mind rolling with full auto, but still high caliber rounds are just amazing uh, within this weapon to make it that, you know, that great. Unfortunately, it is not, you know, a Mida multi-tool, but it comes very, very close to a Mida multi-tools. And you could get become very effective because remember your minor multi tool takes out that exotic you know exotic slot. You cannot use any more exotics after that. So if you're trying to get like a you know a um, an exotic in your as your secondary or an exotic rocket launcher or an exotic you know sword or anything like that. It still gives you that ability to have a legendary as your primary without having to have the minor multi tool. It's a very good alternative to have. And that is the God rules for the distant start let me know in the comments section down below if you guys are getting the distant start if you guys are looking forward to picking it up and if you did pick one up and you got the rolls that i recommend 
Let me know how you guys are liking the weapon compared to the Mina Multi-Tool. If you've tried the Mina Multi-Tool or if you just like the weapon in general. Don't forget guys, if you want to stay tuned to everything that has to do with Destiny, make sure you keep it locked on this channel and I will catch you guys on the next video.